Jacob from Jacob's Ladder here. Today we're gonna to be cooking five meals that I like to cook when I'm hiking out in the back country. Usually when I'm hiking, I have breakfast and lunch on the go, so dinner is the one meal that I get to catch up on calories with. The five meals we're making are a beef and veggie couscous, sweet potato stew with peanut butter and peanuts, a super easy chili recipe, broccoli and mushroom cheesy polenta, and a cheesy pesto and shrimp orzo. We're gonna start this beef and veggie couscous with a cup of boiling water and we're gonna add the vegetables. You can cold soak these vegetables in advance if you wanna save on some fuel. After the vegetables have soaked and rehydrated for a few minutes, we're gonna add half a cube of beef bouillon. After we've added the beef bouillon, we're gonna add some beef jerky. Beef jerky hydrates super well in these meals and it gets very tender. Now simply add the couscous, stir, turn off the heat, and cover the pot to let it sit for five to seven minutes. And voila, our first meal is done. You can eat it right out of the pot, which is what I normally do when I'm camping, but today I put it in a bowl and added some hot sauce. We're gonna start this recipe in the kitchen, so add some onions to some lightly boiling water, then some peeled and cubed sweet potatoes and tomatoes. Add vegetable broth. This is what we're gonna let it simmer in. Mix it up and let it start to simmer again. Add your herbs. We're gonna do ginger, paprika, and chili powder. I also like to add some black pepper. Now add the kale and stir again. Now I added great northern beans, but you can also add chickpeas for some more protein. Mix it up and let it simmer some more. We wanna get these sweet potatoes tender. Add it to your dehydrator and let it dehydrate overnight. Here's what it looks like after coming out of the dehydrator. I recommend crumpling it up some so that the sharp edges don't poke holes in your plastic bags. This one is super easy now. Add the sweet potato stew to rehydrate in the water. You can use about eight ounces of water again. Let it rehydrate for 10 to 15 minutes. You can also cold soak this one in advance and then just heat it up once it's rehydrated. Stir and let it rehydrate for about 10 to 15 minutes while the water is simmering. I actually added a little too much water on this one, so I just let it simmer for a few minutes longer. Now add the nut butter of your choice. I prefer these Justin's butter packets because they are individually packaged. This will add some thickness and some necessary fat to the meal. After stirring in the nut butter, we're just gonna add some peanuts to top it off. Second meal complete. I'll save you the prep on this one. We are making chili. Make a chili in advance that does not have any fat in it, and if you're using ground beef, use a 90-10 ground beef that has very little fat. Dehydrate it and add it to a pot of boiling water. Let the dish simmer. Again, I added a little too much water. No problem though. Just let it boil a little bit longer and you will get to the volume that you are looking for. You can also just use a can of chili instead of making a whole chili in advance. Dinner three, done. For this mushroom and broccoli polenta, we're gonna let the vegetables rehydrate in advance and get the water simmering. For this meal, we're gonna use bone broth for the flavoring and for some added protein. Add the bone broth early on so it gets into everything that you put in. Once the vegetables are rehydrated to your liking, add the polenta. And now we're gonna add something that's really gonna kick up the meal, some little half and half single serving packets. Mix it up, cover, and turn down the heat as low as you can go to prevent burning on the bottom. Check on it every five minutes or so until you get to the desired thickness. Turn off the heat and add a package of Baby Bell cheese. This lasts for at least a week unrefrigerated. Mix until it's melted and serve. Shrimp in a backpacking meal? That's right. We're gonna start with some pre-cooked shrimp and dehydrate them. When they easily crack in half, they're done. Start by adding the dried tomatoes and shrimp 
and then go ahead and add some olive oil for our fat. At this point, I added three containers of half and half, but in the future, I would probably add it after cooking the orzo. Mix and bring to a boil. Add in the orzo and bring the mix back to a boil. This time, you don't want to boil off all of the liquid. You want to leave some so that when we add the pesto, it can thicken up. I only used about half of this pesto packet, so I'll save the other for another backpacking meal. Once you've mixed in the pesto, add two Baby Bell cheeses for the extra creaminess. Turn off the heat and let the Baby Bells mix. Serve and enjoy. This was probably my favorite meal of all of them. Cooking a hearty meal at the end of the day is one of my favorite rewards to look forward to while backpacking. That said, the cooking setup is a small portion of the gear I've researched and honed over the last few years. Click here to see all the gear I brought on my five-month trip in Europe.